Hey guys, it's me, Doke28. Uh, I just watched the new Caroline commercial, and I'm kind of disappointed in American Girl because, um, well, actually, my kid was getting into trouble right now, so I'm going to be holding him as I talk. Yes, we got another cat. His name is CJ. He's so adorable. Now we have six cats. We're, we are not animal hoarders. We have one dog, six cats, um, about ten fish. There's one named P. Dini, but I can't remember the other one's name. Anyway, and we also used to have a hamster, but she died. It was so sad. Anyway, so, anyway, I'll turn the real point of this video. Um, so, yeah. So, first of all, um, the hairline commercial, it's way too Barbie-ish. I mean, like, this is pretty much how the song goes, if you haven't heard it. It's like, New adventures with my friend Caroline. She's one of a kind. She's one of a kind. I mean, don't you see those kind of little chanty songs on Barbie commercials? Hold on, I'm gonna. Sorry, my kid just me out. I'm gonna play um one of the uh, I'm gonna play the Caroline commercial song and then a Barbie commercial song. And which one? I mean, do you think they sound similar? <laughs> Okay, that was the uh, Caroline commercial. Now I'm going to see if I can get a Barbie commercial. Excuse the typing, I have to type. But... Okay, so, oh, listen. See what happens when you put flowers on fairy wings. Use a magic wand, Barbie fairy wings. Flowers here, flowers there, beautiful. Okay, so those things might not sound too similar at first, but when you take into hand. Okay, so on the last American Girl commercial, it was the My American Girl commercial. The song was like, watch us shine, watch us shine. Okay, and I kind of like that because American Girl was always like about expressing who you are and being like who you are and not changing yourself for other people. And I like that because it said, watch us shine. So, I mean, shine with who you are. Don't change yourself to shine to be someone else, I guess, is what I'm trying to say here. But anyway, so, um, sorry, my nose gets stopped up. I have, I don't have allergies, but, <clears throat> uh, we have a lot of cat dander in our house right now. But my mom's doing her little seasonally cleaning today, so maybe that'll help some. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, but, um, ouch, 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 ouch. I'm sorry, but, like, I have really long, I have this really long thumbnail. It's not too long, but, I mean, it's pretty long if you're used to having just really short fingernails. But, um, and I, like, hit it down on, like, the arm of my computer chair, and it hurt so bad, it, like, pushed it back up in there. Anyway, hold on, maybe if I dip it in some Pepsi, it'll help. Okay, but anyway, and it's, and you just heard, like, the, uh, Barbie song. Okay, and it's singing about, like, what's being advertised, like, what happens when you put flowers on fairy wings, like, you know, I mean, I'm just saying that American Girl is being too Barbie-ish. Trying to mix Barbie with American Girl, that's just not going to work out because American Girl is not about shopping and fashion and glamour and stuff like that. Um, it's about, you know, being yourself and playing with dolls and stuff and crafts and being yourself because American Girl isn't entirely about the dolls. It's about crafts and being yourself and ideas and adventures and, you know, rich lifestyles and stuff. I mean... When I say rich, I'm not meaning, like, rich as in a bunch of money. Rich as in, like, not really, I guess, like, having, like, a ton of iPads laying around. Like, getting a new one every other month and stuff because you get bored of the old one, I guess. Uh, that didn't make much sense, but I mean, rich, when I say rich, I mean, like, full of different things. A well-rounded lifestyle, I guess you could say. So... I also have not read Caroline's books. The only AG books I've read is Chris's books, which are marvelous, by the way. Uh, Mary Castanella was a great writer for those books. Um, I've read all of Kirsten's books except for uh, Changes for Kirsten. And I've read um, Mate Felicity, um, Felicity Learns Lesson, and Felicity Surprise. I haven't read Felicity Saves the Day or, like, 
Felicity to the Rescue or whatever it's called. I've only read like three of her books. Maybe it was four. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's like... I don't know. I've only read like... I don't know. What? Hold on. I'm going to go to the American Girl website for a minute. Please excuse all the clicking. I know that this is a really bad video you because know, I'm just like so unprepared, but I mean, it's not like I'm late making you guys wait for like five minutes or anything. Anyway, hold on, let me type in. Okay, let me just go to the bookstore. Uh, Felicity and Elizabeth. Let's see, and I, oh, happy birthday, Felicity. I've read Meet Felicity, Felicity Learns a Lesson, Felicity Surprise, and Happy Birthday, Felicity. I haven't read Felicity Saves the Day or Tennis for Felicity. Actually, at my school library last year, my elementary school library, I'm in middle school now. Uh, on the, they had like the older Pleasant Company versions of all the books, so, um, but, on the older versions of the books, and even some of the newer, older versions of the books, like the 2007 versions and stuff, Felicity is not wearing her meat dress in the uh, cover. She's wearing her summer dress, which I think they should have kept it with her summer dress and stuff. But anyway, so yeah. I've also read Lady Margaret's Ghost. Um, yeah. It's a pretty good book, but I feel like the mystery wasn't there. But anyway, so yeah, uh, you know, go figure. I mean... But I read all Kirsten's books, and I would say that Kirsten's books are probably one of the best written books I've ever read. Probably because there's so many like heartfelt moments in them, like like there's sad moments, but there's happy moments too. And I enjoy those books because there's sad moments and there's happy moments. There's angry moments too. But I mean, I just feel like Caroline's books will be like too much happy and not enough other emotions you know and it's not like i enjoy reading about sad people no i i, I just want to, to read about people who have real emotions i haven't read caroline's books yet but i'm just saying that i think that if they're anything like the commercial then they'll probably be won't be written very well i feel like the American girl really lost its writing power and murray grace and cecile came out i feel like they just lost they just lost it whenever they came out uh, I feel like they, I feel like they started to lose it whenever they changed the meat outfit to the, uh, real meat outfit. I feel like that's pretty much when American Girl started to decline really bad. Uh, anyway, but, yeah, I mean, you know, you can disagree with me. I can definitely take criticism, I mean, I don't really care, but, I mean, don't comment mean things, you know, so. I mean, that's just pretty much my, uh, little rant on the Caroline commercial and stuff. You know, we really don't have to watch this, but I mean, if you want to watch it all the way through, I guess that's fine too. But I mean, if you listen to me talk to this, you watch it all the way through anyway, either that or you just like skipped to this part and you're like, oh, she's talking about this stuff. But anyway, bye guys.